And the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, on Wednesday in Abuja offered guidance for self-isolation in Nigeria as the country responds to the coronavirus COVID-19 outbreak. Dr. Chikwe Iekweazu, the Director General of the Center, says self-isolation means strictly staying at home or identified accommodation away from situations where a person mixes with family members or the public for a period of 14 days. Iekweazu said that those who should be self-isolated includes anyone returning from high-risk countries with ongoing community transmission and anyone who had been in close contact with a confirmed case of COVID-19. Joining us now by phone is medical practitioner Folajimi Adebowale. Good morning to you, doctor. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? Thank you for joining us on News on the Hour. It's a pleasure. You're welcome. On Thursday, the NCDC confirmed five new cases of coronavirus at the time Nigerians thought it's almost over. What do you think went wrong here? Uh, we must take note carefully that these cases were returnees. That means they had it over in the UK and the US and they came to Nigeria with it. So it's not a case of which we have it from one person going or infecting another person yet. All right. now, now the World Health Organization says Africa should prepare for the worst. Do we have a cost to worry? I will still say that we should not raise any undue alarm. We have a situation at hand. We do not need to panic. And one question that we've not all answered is, when this issue was spreading around the world, why is Africa on behind schedule? Because I believe we are well connected to the world when it comes to travel. So I'm very optimistic that we will pull through well through this issue. At the same time, the mortality of this disease condition is very, very low. We have situations and diseases here in Africa, in Nigeria specifically, with higher mortality. Lassa has a higher mortality. So I don't see any reason why we should really be worried about it. Majority of people who get infected with the coronavirus recover. Okay. So, yeah. Now, many people, many people have argued the fact that we seem to be lagging behind. As before now, prior to this period, many countries already shut down their borders and airports to, to um, domestic flights and inbound tourism. And what do you think the government should have done before now to have prevented all of these um, newfound cases being confirmed? The truth of the matter is, is I believe the government is doing a great job. Countries, developed countries could not contain this in. Most of our attempts at controlling diseases are things I consider blind attempts. You just try to do your best. Sometimes it's a risk benefit analysis. Is the risk really real or just perceived? So you can't blame the government about closing the border because even if you close the border, it will still spread, it will still move. It, it's, it's not the primary problem we have. When you talk about closing the border, or perhaps if they had closed the border, things would have been better. I, I don't agree on that basis. Yes, I mean, some, if they had closed the border uh, earlier. Some countries are, have been registered at high risk zones. Uh, shouldn't we have a, a, a ban restriction, a travel restriction on these countries in coming into our country? Now, you do know that at the airport, we've been having screening for a while. And this has been not so so effective at the same time when you talk about africa and nigeria i told you about the risk benefit analysis possibly they were looking at one or two or three issues that just do we really need to make this move so what i'm looking at in this situation is simple was the late move a problem because you want to ban nigerians from coming back or ban travelers I don't consider that a big issue personally. All right. Now, let, let's, let's talk about on the issue of isolation, self-isolation. How sure are we that the people being advised to self-isolate can handle the situation or know what to do? Like I said earlier, m most of these attempts are blind attempts. Most of these things we're trying to do. People are not even exactly willing to isolate. So government is trying to bring in, okay, do not go to church. People are canceling events. People are not happy about it. People are still going to try to be in touch with one another. You know primarily we are social beings. So we will just try and do our best, and we pray people will comply. As a public health has expert, can, can you give us tips on what to do during self-isolation? 
first of all, the minimal minimal interaction with other people in terms of handshake, in terms of speaking, hugging, um, being in a confined space with another person for too long. Those are the things we need to try and avoid. But you do know that in a in a country that is not so well developed, where basically some housing um, have are primarily overcrowded. You have two, three, four people living in the same confined space. We can't really expect much. But I'm happy big events, churches, mosques, uh, and, and clubs will not hold any any event anymore. So individuals will just try and no handshakes, uh, minimize going to big events, and don't stay in a confined space with um, other people, especially people who just travel. For example, staying in a car, air-conditioned system, with somebody who just returned from the U.S. or the U.K., it's, it's, it's real danger. All right. Now, if, if social distancing might be pretty hard for us to observe here, what, what would you advise the government to do more to curtail the spread of this virus? Well, I think we should really work on our healthcare system because viral diseases have an issue of being self-limiting. They come, they do some damage, then they go. How well do we contain this damage? We don't have enough ICUs. We don't have enough facilities that will cater for people during the sick phase of this illness. These are very, very important issues. People will need support if they are ill because somehow some of these things are inevitable. But however, we need to pull through this phase and move to the recovery phase. So how, how do you handle that part is very important. Public health, health expert for Lajimi Adibo Ali, thank you very much for your insightful enlightenment on this topic. It's a pleasure. You're welcome.